Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to manage your social media marketing inside of your monday.com CRM system. I'm going to go over my recommendation on how you are best suited to do this using one of the board templates that monday.com provides and also a bit of modification to make it work and make it slightly more seamless and applicable. Hopefully you'll then be able to improve or better manage your social media inside of monday.com. If you are signing up to monday.com, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below as it really does help me out. Um, and without further ado, let's get into this quick tutorial. So once you log into monday.com, of course, you will come to the home screen. Now, in order to manage your social media, what I'd recommend doing is going to the workspaces up the top left hand corner here and go to the workspace that you'd like to manage your social media from or whichever, wherever you'd like to store those particular boards. Now from here, go to the add button and what we want to do is we want to select a template. So go to the choose from templates and then either search on the left hand side or you're more than welcome to work through and find it if you'd like to. But I'm just going to search social media. Now on the right hand side, we get two options. We get content calendar and a social media planner. Now I'd recommend using the social media planner and then we're going to go ahead and make some changes. So press the use button and wait for that board to load up on your screen. So now that your board has loaded up on the Monday com screen as you can see here we have our social media planner now this is where we can manage all of our social media posts that are going out for the month and we can go ahead and create new months as we work down and this is a brilliant tool there's so much information where we can that we can collect for our posts we can see the design status uh, the content category the post copy posting schedule as well again we, if we scroll across we can see where we're posting them on Facebook Twitter Pinterest etc and you can manage all of these really really easily now this is a very useful tool but I like to I'd just call this and I would change the name because I'm going to recommend doing something else in a moment. I'll call this social media content. OK, and then from here, what I'd want to do is go to the social media content, right click on it. And then we want to duplicate this board, change the name. So I'm just going to remove all of this duplicate of and then you want to change this as opposed to content to planner. Press the duplicate button. And then wait for this to duplicate as you can see this page has now duplicated and what i'd recommend using this for is planning uh, changing the name at the top to planning and then creating a new one called approved as well so if we use the drop down menu here and go to the duplicate this group and then duplicate now i've duplicated this i would then call this approved and then you might want to add an additional one called decline so what we've got here is a planner and this is where we can go ahead enter in a potential post and then we can move it to approved if we so wish. And then once it's been approved, we can then move it from the approved to the social media content area and we can put it in whichever month it's going to be relevant to. But obviously, if there are multiple people, one person coming up with the ideas, another one approving it, it might not be uh, an easy system to manage. So, in order, so it's very easy to then just drag or you can move a particular item by right clicking on it and then moving it to a different board so that's what we'd be doing we would move it from the approved area to the particular area we want to move it to on the content so whichever month that may be and then obviously with the planning we can put in planning ideas for our posts and once we're happy with the planning someone else or maybe yourself once you've gone back over them might move them to the approved area where you can then go ahead and move them into the content uh, area thereafter after deciding whichever day so that's how i'd recommend managing your social media marketing inside of your monday.com system hopefully this has been helpful hopefully your monday.com system is now all set up to handle your social media marketing including your planning and your content calendar as well if you do have any further questions at all you are more than welcome to either comment below or drop me an email my details are in the description below and i'll do my best to answer any questions you may have if you have enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing um, and thank you ever so much for watching this video and hopefully i will see you in the next video shortly thank you and goodbye